is a little town named Little Valley. And that town is filled with scandal! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Acme Comedy Theater's improvised soap opera Scandal, now in its 19th season. We've been doing this a long time, but don't ask us what's going to happen tonight, because we have no idea. Now let's meet our cast of characters. A random sampling of eight citizens of Little Valley. He has bought and sold every plot of land in Little Valley. He's a captain of industry. He's a man about town. He should be on stage by now. He's... Charles Winston Morgan. Don't you forget it. Little Valley is experiencing a bit of recession. And being that there's only one stockbroker in Little Valley, the whole town blames. George Morgan! The stockbroker's son, that's this man. He is a loyal, faithful, duty-bound beaver scout. He's... Timmy Morgan. Next young lady is in love with Europe and everything about Europe. So it's no wonder that she owns the gelato bar. She's. Bella was left a great fortune by her recently departed husband, who left her a great fortune and this great misfortune. He's a mathematician. He's a little bit on edge. He's... Randy, Randy Pausch. Ladies and gentlemen, she's here. She's willing to help, and she's from the government. She's... Stephanie Shambles! He's Little Valley's one-man tech department. That's right, he's the single man of Little Valley's very own geek squad. Everybody say hello to... Dusty Remodel! Everyone else in this town will be played by these two people. Lucky for them, it's a little town known to us as Little Valley. Now, ladies and gentlemen, hold on to your hats and glasses, because you're about to get a fright full of scandal! We begin on a scene of murder. Well, the scenes that take place after murder. Bella Baloo and her stepson are at home as a lawyer goes over the will. I don't understand. I need you to make it more clear to me, please. Well, I can read it. <laughs> <laughs> I, husband of Bella Baloo, do solemnly say <laughs> that my will shall be split 50-50. That's right, 50-50. 50-50. 50 to going to Bella, 50 going to Randy, my new stepson. My research continues. <laughs> what? No, this must be a mistake. I cannot have this. I, I... Uh, yes, there, there is a little more. Uh, in order for these people to receive the full reward, they must also live together. Mom! Oh, oh no! I cannot live with that thing! Good luck. <laughs> I, I, I know perhaps things aren't working out the way you'd hope, but we can make the best of it. I mean, we, we're not completely incompatible. I mean, I, I, I may be a little older, but I, I, you know, I'm sure I could use your guidance. You're, you're, you're much more worldly than I. 
guidance, worldly it I you taught nothing but stupidness, you know that? I don't know what to live with you, I do not want you to be part of my life. Well, it's not exactly stupid, it's more uh, ineptness in the social atmosphere. Uh, actually, uh, intelligence-wise, I have an IQ of 180, which is uh, 20 points beyond genius. I, I just lack the, the skills that, that, that enable people to interact on a, on a social level. But, but, you know... Why don't you have a seat? Eh? <laughs> sit down and be quiet for a moment while I think. Okay, I know what you're going to do for me. I have a package. I yeah. think we can work this out, eh? I want you to take it to, uh, to that ice cream bar owner, uh, Charles. Yeah. You do for me? I think we could be family, yes? Why, why, yes, why can I take him? You're going to take him this package. Oh. I sent them a little gift of uh, congratulations. Eh? Don't shake it! What are you doing? You don't know what's inside of it! It's not like it was a bomb or anything. <laughs> <laughs> George Morgan, as stated in his introduction, is the lone stockbroker of Little Valley. And the whole town blames him for the hard times that we've all fallen on. But lucky for him, he has a loving wife at home, and also a loving son. It's family that gets us through these hard times. <laughs> Dad, 
No, get away from me, Dad! Timmy, wait! You don't understand. If I can't be a beaver scout, Dad, I don't know what I'm gonna do! You're gonna- I think about beaver all the time! <laughs> beaver in the morning, beaver in the evening, beaver in the afternoon! If I can't scout for beaver, I promise you I will not make you give up beaver. I will never, I would never ask my son to not follow his dreams. And if beaver is what makes you happy, then goddammit, you sniff it out and you pursue it. I will. Ever since I was a, a timber scout and got my wood, I became a beaver scout, and that furry beaver is all I've been thinking about. As long as I have that, Dad, I think the Morgan family will be okay. We're gonna go on that trip, and you're not gonna stop being a beaver hunter. Okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some phone calls. I'll, I'll call my brother if that's what it takes. I made him wealthy, and God yeah. damn it, he's fine. He repaid me. Yeah, favor. it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay, Dad. Everything's gonna be alright, guys. Just give me a little while to sort it out. Okay. My heart is breaking, George. How can you not give Timmy his dream? You promised him! A lot of these, these are just, just temporary problems. These are just things. The necklace are just things. I, I mean, we didn't start out wealthy. I, I earned it. But what are we gonna do? We can't lose our house. We can't lose our flower patch. We can't lose these beaver pelts. I, I need some support here, Alana. I don't need more people condemning me. George, I haven't been happy for a while. <laughs> Winston Morgan, thin as local real estate offices, moguling over real estate deals, as he tends to do when Randy drops by with a package. Buy and sell, buy and sell. Oh, it's a great day to be a Morgan. The Dow is down 300 points, but the Morgan family is up 600 points. Mm. Nice. Come on in. Randy Pouch, what the hell are you doing in my office? Uh, my, uh, my, uh, my, my stepmother asked me to come by and he could give you this. Uh, she said it was a congratulatory gift. And she said, all right, put it on the table. Oddly enough, she said, don't shake it. I, I, I'm not quite sure what that meant. So you have no idea what it is? No, no, she just asked <laughs> me to bring it over. Um, I, I, she says, my father died. I, I'm attempting to uh, bond with, with my new stepmother. And um, I found it better not to question her too much because she tends to elevate her, mm -hmm. her moods and, and that, that's not good. I see. Yes, I understand that uh, you had a little will reading with the uh, attorney. You yes. have to live together? Yes, uh, for, for, for 15 years, um, we have to live together a, a, as a family. And uh, should anything come between us, uh, the money, gone. Uh, gone? Um, yes, gone. He, he, he didn't exactly state where, but you know, knowing my father, he has a quite a sense of humor. I'm sure he donated it to, to uh, you know, some sort of charitable organization. I also understand you have to keep the gelato bar open yes, in order to get your inheritance. It, it has to remain financially sound and, and, and can't have a negative uh, cash flow uh, at any time. Yeah, that's going to be pretty difficult with Morgan Ice Cream breathing down your neck. Well, statistically, yeah. <laughs> right now, uh, I'm not sure because gelato actually is, is more healthy and uh, natural polls show that the country's on it. Open the package, Randy. <laughs> Open the package. Open the package, Randy. <laughs> what kind of a person would let someone else open a package? They knew it was a bomb. <laughs> We go to the Morgan Family Ice Cream to see how the business is doing. Dusty works there once a week just to get free ice cream.
and so does Timmy. <laughs> here once a week. Why, once Shut up. Sundays. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't work today. My head's all a muckle. Oh, all a muckle. <laughs> yeah. I love that word. All a fickle fuckle muggle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you heard, but stock's down. One for myself. Hey, thanks. Yeah, stocks, they're a strange thing, aren't they? Greens and reds and bulls and bears. Someone threw a brick through our window today. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, he's become something of the town leper. I don't know. I explained it to me. He's lost everything. That means I'm going to lose everything. Well, that's not true. I mean, you got your mom around. That's great. She's always happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, that's the thing. She just had a big revelation. Hmm. Women do that sometimes. She hurt. <laughs> yeah, she hasn't been happy in a long time. I just saw her walk by the door earlier today, and she was like galloping around. She's gonna go home. She's gonna see you and help you with your beaver scouting. And then her husband's gonna come home. And he's gonna show how much money they made. That's exactly what happened, right? No, but see, that's the thing, Dusty. What? We didn't make any money at all. We lost it. My, the, the check for scouting beaver is gone. And I think my respect for my father is starting to dwindle as well. He is a weak man. But I used to look up to him. So <laughs> it's easy to lean on. What am I gonna do, Dusty? Well, you can, uh, I don't know, um, what do you like to do? You can make some money. Your uncle's got a lot of money, right? That's right. Uncle Charles Winston Morgan. You can ask him for money. I don't know. He's I'm a real just, Morgan. I'm just a computer tech slash ice cream scooper. I don't know what I'm talking about. You know, <laughs> I just, no. That's right. Make sure the cushions are nice. <laughs> <laughs> At least there is one, one Morgan who is still afloat here. Yeah. Uncle Charles Winston Morgan. Maybe he'll know what to do. Yeah, he owns like half the town. He does own half the town. He owns this cockamamie shop here. That's why I'm working. All right, maybe he'll be able to pull us out. That's the ticket, Dusty. That's the ticket. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Dusty. I'm going to go see Uncle Charles Winston Morgan. You still got three hours on your shift. <laughs> Disgraced by the town and his family, poor George Morgan goes back to his office. His faithful assistant, Stephanie Shambles, is there to console him, comfort him, and take care of his every need. What, what do you mean I'll be penalized for early withdrawal? It's my money! <laughs> Hello? Consider you 
a friend, too. Stephanie, you're second only to my wife in this world to me. I want you to know that. Oh, thank you. You are so kind. But that's exactly thank why you. I have to ask you to go. It's not even safe for you in here. People are throwing bricks. They've cut the lights. It'll be dark in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I should serve dinner before I go. Oh, Stephanie, you don't understand. It's, it's, I don't have any money to pay you. I got another call today. I know your checks have been bouncing, and you've been too nice to say anything. You're so sweet. It's okay, George, and, and you've been losing weight. You're looking skinny here. Sit down. I know you can't afford me, but let me just... Stephanie, don't make this harder than it has to be. Please, just... just <laughs> <laughs> team of employees to pick up business.
and Charles shows up at the gelato bar. Son, your new stepson. Yes, uh -huh. Full service. Yeah, but of course, you need to relax. I feed you. Scratch. And you've got to keep this uh, Euro joint running in order to get your inheritance, huh? Oh, you found out. Uh, or did you think maybe luring me over here would change things? Oh, I do not lure you. No, no. I wanted to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> It's like being at the Little Valley Spa. <laughs> oh, you want spa? Rock off, Bob! Get out of here! Wow. Hold on, Bob! Let me do the toy! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's not a hurry job. I only serve at the gelato, eh? 
Apparently you got some or something. Huh? What are you eating there, eh? I think it's like grapefruit. Oh, grapefruit is very nice. Tangy and uh, <laughs> hurts my mouth. <laughs> well, maybe you need something a better. How about the uh, orange lemonade, eh? Yeah, Mom. No, I'm, I'm taking a break from work. I'm going to gelato place. That is so rude and American. No, no. I think just so. gotta wash this stuff off. Here, just bring it. <laughs> <here. laughs> oh, yeah, just bring. I'll be home for dinner. Yeah, just leave it. Leave it on my basement stairs. All right. I make you three a scoop, eh? Oh, that's a lot of gelato. I don't know if I can finish this. <laughs> you off. Uh, do the man. All, All right. right. Here we go. <laughs> Timmy goes to visit his uncle and inquire about money. One of the benefits of owning so much property in Little Valley is that no matter where I am, I feel at home. <laughs> <laughs> well, Timmy, how are you, Beeve? What's wrong with my uncle Charles Winston Morgan? Winston will do. Haven't you heard what's wrong? Well, oh gosh, cockamamie, son of a nugget, everything's wrong. But it's still Dad. a great day to be a Morgan, right? No? That's the thing. What's going on? You look disheveled. That's not the way a Morgan wears a uniform. What's going on? Haven't you heard about Dad? Well, sir, big plunge in the stock market, town folk are angry, you know. Big plunge? He's lost everything! Everything. Yes! Everything. So your brother is broke. My <laughs> father is broke. <laughs> that would make him my broke brother. Yes. <laughs> my brother is broke. Yes. <laughs> so yes, your yes. father has no money. My yeah. dad has no money. <laughs> All right. And Uncle Charles Winston Morgan, you're the... You're the richest man in town, and well, we need some help. I know it's hard for you to ask. Go ahead. Well, we need some help. <laughs> um, well, All so right. The thing is, what would you have me do? Oh man! Find the words, Timmy. <laughs> I, I used to look up to my dad so much. Yeah, we used to play catch in the, in the backyard with the football. And with the baseball bat and the baseball. And everything was swell. But then this morning he comes in and he says that the dream that I thought I had has been pulled down. Has been pulled down and we don't have it anymore. And Mom said she's not happy. Timmy, get a hold of yourself, for God's sakes! If we were in public, I'd smack you around. <laughs> a Morgan knows how to carry himself. A Morgan knows how to wear a uniform and straighten up a gig line. A Morgan knows how to be a proud man no matter what's going on in his life. Now, we're going to go find your brother. And then my father. <laughs> Because your brother, your father, my brother cannot disappoint us like that. No. And he cannot take the Morgan family name and, that's, and destroy it in front of all of Little Valley. That's right. I'm going to help you, Timmy. I'm going to do whatever it takes for you, son. Okay. And you're going to be a proud beaver scout walking the halls of Little Valley High. Yeah. A real man. Can you handle it? Oh, I can handle it, nice. Uncle Charles Winston Morgan. Carry on. I can handle it Please. just well. Carry on. I will. <laughs> Thank you. 
When Stephanie walks in. <laughs> I did my job. George! George, what are you doing? 
Timmy here with me. Oh. What are you doing, Dad? I wanted to see it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming out there. It's okay. It's no. <laughs> Timmy, I'm gonna jump into the life and show No, 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 George. Dad, let me call Mom. Maybe. Do you have a lighter? You know I don't smoke. God damn it! Dad, you can't smoke anywhere in these days. George, <laughs> listen to reason. Sorry. All right, look. I know you've had a tough day, a rough ride on the market. But think of the good times. You said buy Google, and they bought Google. And then I said sell, and they didn't want to. They said it's just going to keep going up forever. They don't always listen. That's their fault. But <laughs> look, look. Even now, they're throwing things at me. You said buy PetSmart, and they bought PetSmart. <laughs> you even said buy Maybelline, and they bought Maybelline. <laughs> 4% dividend yield, how could they not? George. <laughs> Timmy just came to me, begging for help. And you know what? <laughs> if you let him down, he'll never be the same. Dad, come take on. my hand. Let's go back, let's go back to Mom. George, take my hand. Let's go back to Mom, and maybe everything will be okay. We haven't always gotten along, George, but this is not come the way to Was Charles able to save his brother, or his nephew's brother? <laughs> Will he ever resolve that issue? Will Randy be able to learn how to pick up chicks? Will I be able to learn how to come up with setups for scenes?